story continuing with Kusha Lepler and the Vashgacha Protis. I know what we're saying in the Maimah here. That is, so this is from the Kutu de Burim, the first volume, Chilak Aleph. So the Fidig Rebbe says, relates, that from the time that the Kusha, you can see Lepler got this bracha of the Alter Rebbe, Vata Machai Yiskulam, and you able to give life to all of them, give him life. So the, you could see that Kusha began to live. And from this life force, he came ultimately, it took many years, but he came to the deepest understandings. That's much later time of the Mittler Rebbe, which came to him through great, great toil, but the highest he got immediately. And that the highest was a Gilui oil. A, uh, a flash of Gilui early ki mamish. Now, it's a fascinating chassid because this Gilui oil that the Alter Rebbe described yesterday, Maka, he stroke, he struck him. He struck him. So when this would 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 illuminate Mavzik, what's Mavzik? It's a lightning flash. Uh, another word for it. When it would. It, it could come out of nowhere. I don't know what would cause it, but he would become another person. And he would say, he would say, have to dance. And anybody that happened, and anybody that happened, with it, that happened to be near him at that time had to dance with him. <laughs> and if not, he was likely to get struck by his, by his, uh, his cane. So the story goes is that he once he was in Borisa and he's walking in the street, and all of a sudden this Gilelikus shines, and he would say some he had said this in some kind of melodious way. Navgena tensel. And who was there was the postman. He grabs the postman and he dances with the postman. Figure up ends that uh, the Reb Marash said. That when this gilui happened, it was a gilui er mamish. This was a kind of a gilui of yehudi a temporary yehudi yilah, save of kalalmen just bursting through the barriers. If you ever conclude that in matters of the world, but because see, Le Lepler was a simple fellow, but his understanding of chassidus just went greater and greater. His understanding in Chassidus reached such a point only after many years. But this was all as a result of this Gilim I'm just going to add, I'm just going to tell you what he says. The Tzemach Tzedek tried, tried, wanted to be Malbish, and he told him to learn the Sefer Kava Yosher. It's like it's a Musa Sefer based on Kabbalah. And also Chumash with Rashi. And if he says, it wasn't easy for the because to can to learn, I don't know, to can to learn this, internalize this avoid the musuderas, this primis dik avoid. And I can conclude that elsewhere in the Sikh and Tafshin, if he said about the Bikasil Lepler, that even though his knowledge of Torah in general was some was limited, but his haskol, his understanding in the Edel Kait of Chsidis was wondrous. Okay, my friends, have a wonderful day. And bit session tomorrow, six o'clock. Should all be well.